How's it going, everybody? Special video, special topics and questions. I've got Amanda with me. Amanda, what's going on today? Hey, Josh. Oh, today we've got, uh, let's see, we've got some viewer questions and we have some answers. Yes. Wait. Uh, that's Radio Shack. They went out of business. Forget yep. that. Scratch that. We do, you do have some questions and we do have some answers, but not like Radio Shack. We might We're actually sell around. you some. <laughs> and and sell you something a little bit better than your AAA batteries. Um, so we, you know, we've made a transition here at Ham Nation. Obviously, uh, Twit stopped producing us, and we were introduced to this wonderful man here to this side of me, me. Josh K I six N A Z. Thank you, Josh, for picking us up. Uh, he also runs his own show, Ham Radio Crash Course. Hello, Josh. Hello. Thank you very much uh, for, for wanting to do this because I've been getting slammed with questions, as you as all of us have. And so we, we've got the ones we've heard over and over again. We're going to try and answer them right now. So thanks for watching, everybody. Absolutely. We're going to figure this all out in one shot here. That way, uh, we're beginning personal emails on our Facebook, everything, taking care of it. So... Number one, what happened to Ham Nation? I just told you. Twit could no longer produce it. We've got Josh producing it now. Where can we find it now? I heard you're making a new show, but I haven't been able to find it, and I'm not hearing it on a podcast. So, Josh, help us out. Sure. And you can find it easily enough if you go to YouTube and you just search for Ham Radio Crash Course, and you're going to see a page just like this, and you're going to click that big red button that says subscribe, and when you do that, there'll be a follow-on button, like a little bell, and I'll probably annotate a little animation here for you, and it will be a reminder to notify you when we go live, and that'll be helpful for lots of reasons because people said they weren't having an easy enough time finding it and all that fun stuff, so I will post the link in the description so you can take that, and uh, that should be the easiest way to find what we're, what we're up to. All right. And when you hit that subscribe button, it sends you notifications. Is that correct? As long as you click that little bell that pops up next to it, that's the easiest way to get notified like every time it gets posted, particularly when we're going live, because this is a live show, right? So we're going to, it'll be a live notification to you. All right. And not only are you going to get notified via YouTube, we're also going to do our hardest to remind you on Facebook as well that the mm -hmm. show is coming up and click on this link right here and you'll be able to find it just in case you don't want to subscribe, but we don't recommend that. All right. So we have other interaction abilities. Uh, Josh has a server set up on Discord and you can also interact with the other viewers that way, as well as a host. So Josh is going to show us that. Yes. So Discord is kind of like IRC that you're used to. And what we've actually done is it's the Ham Radio Crash Course. The link is also in the description. You can find it out that way. Staff and people that are logged in at any one time are on the right, kind of like IRC. And the chat rooms are on the left-hand side. And we've actually made a spot for Ham Nation. It's right down here on the left-hand side. You just click on Ham Nation chat, and there will be all kinds of activities. Oh, it looks like somebody won, and they got their swag giveaway from Ham Nation. <laughs> Um, and there's also a voice chat component. So that's the text chat. And when you scroll down here to the live stream after chat, that's where we do the live voice chat after the episodes and for my live streams after the Saturday episodes. So that's the best way to find the Discord. It's you know free to join. Um, and it's a really cool collaborative space. We're talking about Winter Field Day and all our special events we're doing. We do SCEDs here. We walk through stuff we're building, DIY stuff, you name it. Uh, people talk about it. Let's see if we've got, yeah, people are working on some stuff. Ham shacks. We've got our ham shacks there. People showing off. Oh, there's somebody. Boat anchors. Pretty cool. So, yeah, there's lots of different ways to interact on, on the Discord. And it's uh, it should be interesting. And I think it does help replace that or bridge the gap to the IRC that everybody loves. I just don't have an IRC server. Discord makes it really easy for me to run something. Absolutely. And so you brought up IRC, so I'm just going to tail on that. Mm -hmm. um, chatting. Chatting on YouTube is really, really easy, you guys. Now that I'm going to be on the show the whole time, because Josh doesn't have to drop any of us, because it's not like Twit where we only had four slots. We have an unended amount of slots. So all of the hosts get to stay on the whole show. So I get to follow the chat, and if there's a special guest on or anybody, and you have a question, I'll be able to interrupt them and be like, hey, Gordo, Gordo, what what, what connector is that? Tell us, where, where'd you find that? 
tell us now. So I don't have to remember at the uh, end of the show or maybe have him drop off and not be able to ask him. So yeah, we've talked about that. Like, you know, <laughs> if there are good questions that come up, we don't have to wait all the way to the end. We'll just, you know, dive into it you know, as they come up as some of the good ones. But of course, we'll still have the chat segment at the end where we can take live questions. Absolutely. And I, I do see like the end of the show chat kind of tailing down a little bit because we get to ask those questions in the middle of the show. So I think we'll end up having more commentary or talk about um, what's going on this week in amateur yeah. radio news or happenings, things like that. The special events that are coming up or the DX uh, mm -hmm. expedition when they happen again. Um, so another big thing is it's another comment a lot of you had was it looks like all of the show hosts left. No, they didn't. I swear they didn't. <laughs> There's a lot of us still around. Yes, unfortunately, Bob, who is the heart and soul of Ham Nation, has just said, I am getting inundated. I'm putting in all of these Zoom meetings every week. This darn COVID started this, but I'm really enjoying yeah. interacting personally well, with all of these clubs and ham fests that have now gone virtual. So he is, and he wants to invest more time in his own factory, which is great because we get more equipment out of it, right? Right. Um, so he has had to take a step away. But doesn't mean that we're not going to pull them in occasionally. Be like, Bob, Bob, tell us what you're doing. Yep. And the same with George. Um, George uh, with Smoke and Solder has brought so many cool segments to the show. But as you all have seen in the, about the last year or so, he had gotten so busy with work and putting together Amateur Logic that he just was... He, he asked for more help coming in to fulfill some of his slots. And we we did get some great additions to fill that in. And uh, we appreciate everything George has done. And if you ever have missed one of his, just search wiki uh, notes and you'll find a where you can uh, fix that speaker and things like right. that. So thank you, George, for everything you've done. And some of the new content is going to be coming from uh, Randy Hall, K7AGE, who you all know and love. We love his uh, YouTube videos, and he's going to be bringing a lot more content. And we introduced uh, the other day uh, Joe Eisenberg. Not that we needed to introduce him because he's yeah, a superstar. Requires no introduction, yes. <laughs> That's absolutely correct. <laughs> You've seen him at um, Hamfest forums, and he's probably done some Zooms with some of your clubs, but he is the all-time kit builder in the ham radio world, at least in the United States, maybe in the whole world. So he... Uh, he has told us what he's bringing to the table and we look forward to having him at least monthly on the show. So we're really excited about that. Now, and we um, didn't lose Gordo either. Gordo was no. just in court site. <laughs> he was on vacation. So that's why he was out and Don was out. Nobody else has gone anywhere. <laughs> that's right. And um, we, let's talk about Gordo and Don. So Don brings two absolutely fabulous factors to the show. He brings the amateur radio newsline and he brings us the condensed version. So gives us a little bit of the, the taste of what's been happening in the last week in amateur radio news. And then he brings us uh, Dr. Tamitha Scove, the most brilliant woman I have ever met in my life. Um, all things uh, space weather and all things propagation that you need to know about coming in the next week. If you want to know if you're going to be able to work that DX, she's very important in your life and you should keep tabs on her. Anyhow, she's still around. Dawn is still around with his quirky dad jokes and everything involved. <laughs> and let's not forget that we have Valerie, the DX queen, contesting queen, and she's not going to be stopping with all of her content, helpful hints, and how to work every DX expedition, win every contest, and give us all of the gear that we need to know how to do this. Yeah, so that I think that sums it up. That was the, the major questions people had on who's in, who's out. Uh, so it's it's you know it's Bob and and George for the reasons that Amanda listed. Everybody else is in, and we've added more people with with Randy and Joe. So now we're looking for um, some unknowns. We're looking for more YL content. We're looking for that some of these people that we just talked to on HF, and we look up their QRZ page, and I'm like, where have you been my whole life? Why doesn't right. anyone else know about you? Right. You're coming on my show. I want you to to meet a few people. So you guys, Ham Nation's here to stay. And now you know where to find us and how to find us and when to find us. So, yes, 
I will wrap it up, though, with talking about the podcast again. Because we Thank did you. mention it on the last episode. But for those of you that are waiting to for the podcast to populate in your feed because you don't necessarily watch online, which is a considerable amount of you, the thing to remember is that the RSS feed, which is the thing that allows us to put the podcast out on a, on a space that you can find them, that is still being used by Twit. They need that for analytical purposes. I get it at the end of January, and I have to do some work on my end to merge it over and work with Twit on performing that merge over. So there is some work that has to be done. I plan on using the same RSS feed. So when I get it all sorted out, you don't have to do anything. You should just see it pop up in your feed again, and, and you're all set. So that's you know that's the that hopefully should take care of itself <laughs> without much work on on anybody else's part. <laughs> uh, what's the other thing? Uh, the biweekly. Yes, we are definitely biweekly because of um, full time jobs. And just just the trying to revolving around all of these different hosts that we're going to be having, this is the way it's going to work out for now until uh, we can find a better solution. But I really actually like this solution. I like the biweekly. Um, helps my schedule out for sure, and I'm sure it does Josh's too. Yeah, I mean, everybody, I, I think everybody should keep in mind, you guys were doing this for like 10 years, and that means an, a tremendous amount of commitment to put out content every week for 10 years. I'm not saying we couldn't do every week, but we're not at that point specifically on my end to get things up and running and get my feet under me so where I feel comfortable. So, right. you know, I, I appreciate the host saying, yeah, no, let's let's do the let's do it every two weeks and, and we'll see how it goes. And so far, I think everybody's been enjoying it, at least on on our side of the house, on the creation <laughs> side of the house, which is nice. Uh, but we'll consider it going to once a week in the future. Absolutely. And I'd like to thank everyone for their positive comments. Um, a lot of people have been really thrilled with seeing the new format. All right, you guys. So thanks for watching this video and uh, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. Find us on Discord, find us on Facebook, and we'll be able to ask any questions, answer any questions that you might have or help you find us. So thanks everyone for watching. And all those links will be in the description. So check that out down below. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Amanda, thanks so much for coming on and explaining and, and working through this with me. And I hope that helped out everybody. If it didn't for some reason, leave a comment below. Leave a comment on the Facebook. We promise we are hearing them, and we're trying to respond to them as quickly as we can. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. We really appreciate it. Yep. Thank you.